Hi folks, it's Jen here. Today we are going to bake up some Parmesan herb crusted halibut with a side of white beans and gremolata sauce. For this recipe you'll need four portions of halibut, one teaspoon of kosher salt, half teaspoon freshly ground black pepper, half a cup of panko breadcrumbs, one third cup shredded Parmesan, one tablespoon of olive oil, one tablespoon of finely chopped parsley, half a teaspoon of garlic powder. For the beans, you'll need one tablespoon of olive oil, one shallot minced, three cloves of garlic, one tablespoon of minced rosemary, one tablespoon of minced thyme, a pinch of red pepper flakes, two cans of cannelli beans, one cup of vegetable stock, one teaspoon of salt. And for the gremolata, you'll need two thirds cup parsley leaves, two thirds cup basil leaves, half a cup of olive oil, one tablespoon of oregano, one clove of garlic minced, one tablespoon of lemon juice, and three quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. So we're gonna start now by preparing the halibut. When you take the halibut out of the package, you'll wanna pat it dry. So it, take the portion, use a paper towel, I'm using a glass baking dish with a piece of parchment paper on the bottom. Just, I typically like to bake everything with parchment on the bottom because then there's nothing sticking to the pan. And it makes for a really easy cleanup. Easy cleanups are always good. All right. Now, for the Parmesan portion and the herbs that go on top of the fillets. We're going to put everything in this blender and toss it around. It mixes it up really nice. You can just use a little bowl if you don't have an easy blender, um, but this worked really well for me last time, so I'm going to do it again that way. So for the topping on the halibut, we need one teaspoon of kosher salt, half a cup of breadcrumbs, One third cup of Parmesan cheese. You can use the block version or the shredded version. The nice thing about the blender is it breaks those cheese pieces and the parsley down a little bit further without having to chop it. One tablespoon of olive oil. One tablespoon of parsley. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. This is a really nice uh, Parmesan mixture that you can put on top of any fish. Um, we recently did it with halibut, but we've also done it with salmon and, and other um, fishes as well, so that works really nice. And our last ingredient is half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. Now we're gonna take our Parmesan topping. And before we add it to the filet, we want to salt and pepper each filet. And I found the easiest way to do this is to, to lay the Parmesan mixture on a plate, cover the piece this way. And then once you get it in the pan, you can add more to the top, but it sort of covers all sides of the fish at first. We source our wild caught halibut from our fisherman partner in Juneau, Alaska, who fishes for the halibut mainly in the summer season. Now I take my extra cheese and all the good stuff. Just sort of layer it on a little thicker on top. When you bake this, you don't have to flip it, so we don't have to worry about tossing the good stuff off or anything. 
All right, now our fillets are herb crusted and we're gonna set this aside while we go ahead and start the beans. Now we're gonna start preparing the beans. We're gonna saute the beans in this large saucepan here. First we need to chop our shallot and our garlic. Slice up three cloves of garlic. Ooh, the shallot is strong. That was a strong shallot. <laughs> Add a tablespoon of olive oil so we can saute our shallots and garlic. Yes. And while that heats up, we're going to add a little rosemary and thyme. And the original recipe was for fresh rosemary and thyme but I only have dried rosemary and thyme, so I'm going to improvise a little bit. Instead of the full tablespoon, I'm going to back it down to a quarter. Rosemary. And just a pinch of red pepper flakes. So we're gonna saute the shallots and the garlic until the shallot is a little translucent. It's been about three to five minutes and our shallots are almost cooked through. So we're going to go ahead and add our vegetable stock. One cup. And then we have two, I used canned beans. I couldn't find the dry ones in the supermarket. So I went with the canned beans. And so I have two cans of rinsed cannelli beans here. And we're gonna add that in. And we're gonna add one teaspoon of salt. And then we're gonna let that simmer for about 10 minutes on about a low to medium simmer. And this is the perfect time to start baking your halibut. This, the beans have about 10 to 12 minutes to go. Your halibut is gonna cook for about 10 minutes as well. So we're gonna add this into the oven to bake. Okay, so we're gonna bake the halibut for about 10 minutes at 425. Halibut is a sweet tasting white fish with a nice firm yet tender texture. And one of the things I love about cooking halibut is you can prepare lots of different types of sides with it. It's very versatile while cooking. So it's one of our favorites. Okay, so now we are going to mix up the gremulata sauce. We're going to use the mixer again for this part of the recipe. So we're gonna add all of the ingredients into this big cup. We need 2 thirds cup of parsley leaves. Two thirds cup of basil leaves. It's 
smells like summer. <laughs> Be hopeful. Half a cup of olive oil. One tablespoon of oregano, but at this time I have dried oregano, so I'm going to use a little less than a tablespoon. I think I'll do about half a teaspoon. One clove of garlic. One tablespoon of lemon juice. I juiced my lemon into this. and three quarter teaspoon of salt. So. All right, now we mix all of this in the food processor. Now we're ready for the beautiful presentation. We'll take the beans on the bottom. We're gonna serve the filet on top of the beans. Put the halibut filet right on top there. Here's our finished dish. And now for a taste. It smells delicious. The, um, the herbs along with the, the Parmesan cheese and the halibut make a delicious combination. To pick up your wild caught halibut, check out one of our links below. Thanks for watching.